Meanwhile, Speaker Paul O'Brien is out of Massachusetts saying that the House is going to write tax reform legislation this fall. Uh, that differed a little bit, in fact, a lot from a conversation I had with House Ways and Means Committee Chair Kevin Brady, uh, who wants to act and says he is acting like as we speak, but that also some of those tax cuts people are expecting might not be what they're expecting. Take a look. For tax reform, you know, there, it's a different type of lift. I still say it's the greatest challenge of any generation, but we can do it if we just stay at the table and do our work. It's your hope here that to get this done this year, to get the tax cuts. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Look, and I haven't, I, and I will tell you this. There is a lot more work to be done. We're working closely with President Trump's tax team in the Senate. I haven't seen anything yet that knocks us off pace for delivering in 2017. All right, for delivering in 2017, earlier in that interview, we talked about some of the, the estimates and the numbers that have been put out that are still movable. Financial Services Committee member, Utah Republican Congresswoman Mia Love, on, uh, on what she makes of all of these cross currents. You know, Congresswoman, very good to have you. The, the, Hi, Neil. the feeling seems to be right now that Republicans need to chalk up a legislative victory for the president, for themselves as well, uh, and that big tax cuts are the answer. But we're getting hints from some moderates that they don't want them to be too big. This is the same group for, for as you know, Congresswoman, who had kept in place some of the, 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 the taxes on the upper income in the health care rework. So what is your sense about what will end up being the final tax cut package? Okay, so one of the things that we have to do is remind people what it looks like today. So in the industrialized world, the, federal, the average tax rate is 22.5%. The United States federal corporate tax rate is 35%, 39 if you add state and other taxes. Right. If you file, if you're a small business and you file as an individual, it's 44.6%. So I think the biggest mistake that we can make is try and fix a complicated tax policy with a complicated large tax bill. To me, we have to be as simple as possible and, uh, you know, forget what CBO says because they're usually wrong, um, <laughs> to lower the tax rate and make sure that we um, give people the opportunities to grow wealth to grow the economy, give people access to credit. So I think that we need to take a simple approach to fixing a complicated problem instead of trying to, uh, you know, balance everything and trying to make everything seem way too complicated. That's when we end up getting a lot of people that have deal breakers for them and we, it's hard to get something that is too big passed. So we need to simplify yeah. it by being incredibly simple. You know, it's interesting though, there are these little arcane rules of the way things go in, in, in in Washington, and one is in order to do this with a simple majority and go through reconciliation. Very cumbersome process. I barely grasp it myself. You do. But from what I understand, uh, you, everything has to sort of um, mathematically calculate out that you haven't, that it's revenue neutral, I guess, so to speak, after 10 years, that you haven't substantially added to, to the deficit after that time. So that's what get, gives moderates pause. They say, well, you don't want to go too crazy, right? on these taxes, and they cite those on the upper income. Maybe you chill on that. Where, where do you stand on that? Well, again, it, you know, when you're looking at it, you have to understand that um, when you're putting money and you're lowering the tax rate, you're literally putting money into the economy. And so trying to neutralize things out, you're trying to guess how much it's actually going to grow the economy. And I think that it will actually exponentially, just, simply, just simply lowering the tax rate, the federal corporate tax rate, will open up our economy. And, and be able to grow well. So I Are think you we okay then, Congresswoman, there. when you first slash rates, in the near term, they take revenue away? You're quite right to point out, after that, as we learned with Ronald Reagan all that, that, and even Bill Clinton, the revenue starts coming in fast and furious. Now, what we learned under right. Democratic and Republican Congresses alike is they, they spend all that money and then some. Leaving that aside, are you okay with a tax package that would produce bigger deficits in the near term before things even out in the longer term? I'm okay with just simply lowering the federal corporate tax rate, even though it says that it's going to add deficits. I believe that the benefits will far outweigh the negatives. So you keep mentioning the corporate give, rate, con we, Congresswoman. We're talking about, I'm, and I'm talking about taxes altogether. Uh, I understand, but, you, but is yeah. your preference, if you couldn't get anything else done, I raised this with the House Ways and Means Chief, is it your preference if you, you had one or the other, you'd work on the corporation thing? If I had to work on one or the other, it would be just tax 
all across the board. But federal corporate tax rate is out of control. It doesn't allow us to be competitive on the global market. We have to make sure that we do everything we can to not just help businesses, but also help the, remember, the small businesses that file as individuals. These are you know, smaller businesses are trying to make ends meet. So it'll help Americans all together. But I am for lowering the tax rate and just simplify, just making sure that we have a simpler, a simple uh, answer to a very complicated issue. Congresswoman, thank you very, very much. Mia Love, Financial thank Services you. Committee member from Utah. Good having you.